Hi everyone, I am Anu Chindal and I welcome you to another session wherein I will be talking about World Bank report which has said that India will be collecting a remittance of $100 billion in the year 2022. And this is the highest for India, highest for the world and at the same time India is at number one position when it comes to remittances coming to India from abroad. Thanks to all the NRIs, all the PIOs out there who have been contributing with open hearts towards remittances in India. People like Indra Nui, Dr. Amartya Sen, Lakshmi Mittal and a lot more lakhs and lakhs of NRIs living abroad have been contributing regularly to inward remittances to India. And this is an opportunity to say thanks to all of them. Let's try and understand various nitty gritties around remittances coming to India. How is it relevant for your examination? How is it relevant for your overall awareness as well? First question that pops up in our minds is why NRI remittance comes to India? Remit karte hi kyun hai wo paisa Bharat mein wapas? If they were earned in US dollar, if they're living abroad, why are they not spending all that money abroad? Why are they not saving all that money abroad? Why are they sending it to India? Vapas apne desh kyun bhejne? There are multiple reasons behind it. As per RBI's latest report, there are four major ways in which or methods through which people remit this money to India for these purposes. Kya ye purposes hai? Number one, to support family in India. Bahut sare aise log hai whose families whether it's wife, kids or parents, live in India. So, when these people are in Bharat mein and these NRIs are living abroad, earning abroad, they have a responsibility towards their families in India. To support these families, they send back a part of their money by saving that money, which means that their home can easily be here, their standard of living can be maintained or increase. Ke. They can have a healthy uh, a nourishing a happy life back in India so that is number one reason family maintenance or to support their families in India number two earning in US dollar withdrawing in INR बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग हैं जो US dollar में कमाते हैं और India आके वापस INR में withdraw करते हैं let's assume that you have a job in let's say Deloitte you live in US for six months you live in India for six months बहुत बड़ी ऐसी life लगती है आपको कि छह महीने US में रहेंगे छह महीने India में रहेंगे now, whatever money you earn there, you try and save majority of it, thinking that I'll come back to India, I'll have a lot of money when I convert my US dollar to INR, and I'll have fun. I will have a lot of money, invest, kar paunga, earn, kar paunga, uh, bahut zyada save. Kar paunga. All that increases as soon as you earn in US dollar, but you, you can convert it and withdraw it in INR. So, these advantages you get to get. And that is why a lot of people remit their money back to India. Donate US dollar money to India. Bhoot saare aise log hain jo donation bhi karte hain uh, Indian rupees mein by converting their US dollar. They have a sense of responsibility towards uh, India, towards their country. Aur us responsibility ko fulfill karne ke liye wo log US dollar mein jo bhi earn karte hain. A portion of that is converted to India. Indian rupees and then donate it to India. Ye wala reason bahut zyada uh, dekha hoga aapne news mein a lot of people are caught on airports when they are illegally importing gold from UAE or from Saudi Arabia or various other West Asian countries and bringing them to India. Bahut saare log aisa karte hain, bahut pakde bhi jate hain jo illegally karte hain but legally also a lot of money, a lot of gold is brought from abroad to India and that also becomes a part of remittances as per RBI. So is form may and these are the reasons why NRIs remit a lot of money to India. Yes, are reasons. A big question up to the mangmi aroga remittances bar kyu rahe hai. Why are they increasing at such a high speed? It was 89 billion dollars in 2021. Now it is bound to increase to 100 billion dollars in 2022. Very big rise. Why is it happening? Two major reasons are connected. Hai. Number one, people living in the UAE doing blue-collar jobs is now falling. 
जो भी गल्फ कंट्रीज में ब्लू कॉलर्ड वर्कर्स इंडिया के काम करते थे वो धीरे धीरे कम हो रहा है दैट हैज़ बीन रिड्यूसिंग देर आर मल्टीपल रीजन्स बिहाइंड इट एंड वील बी डिस्कसिंग दीज रीजन्स इन द फ्यूचर स्लाइड्स बट अभी के लिए समझ लीजिए दैट पीपल वर्क है इन यू गल्फ कंट्रीज एज ब्लू कॉलर्ड वर्कर्स दे नंबर इज फॉलिंग दे परसेंटेज इज फॉलिंग एट द सेम टाइम द नंबर ऑफ पीपल माइग्रेटिंग टू डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज फ्रॉम इंडिया यू एस ए कैनेडा यूरोप इन्वॉल्व इन वाइट कॉलर जॉब्स देयर नंबर इज इंक्रीजिंग देर परसेंटेज इज इंक्रीजिंग एट द सेम टाइम द वैल्यू ऑफ रेमिटेंस पर पर्सन इज ऑल्सो डिफरेंट अब यू ए में कोई आदमी रहता है इंडियन रहता है लेट से ही सेंस अक्रॉस वन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स पर मंथ इन टू इंडिया टू इज फैमिली बट एट द सेम टाइम यू एस ए में कोई माइग्रेंट रहता है इंडियन पर्सन ही सेंस हाउ मच फाइव थाउजेंड डॉलर्स टू इंडिया एवरी मंथ सो द वैल्यू ऑफ रेमिटेंस पर पर्सन इज मच हाई इन यू एस ए इन डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज वाई बिकॉज दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन वाइट कॉलर जॉब्स एट द सेम टाइम यू ए में जो लोग रहते थे दे वर इन्वॉल्व मेजरली इन ब्लू कॉलर जॉब्स तो ये डिफरेंस की वजह से एज द नंबर ऑफ पीपल लिविंग इन इंडियंस लिविंग इन यू एस एंड डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज डूइंग वाइट कॉलर जॉब्स दे आर इंक्रीजिंग द वैल्यू दैट दे सेंडिंग टू इंडिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेमिटेंस दैट इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग ये मेजर रीजन है दैट रेमिटेंस इज आर राइजिंग इन टू इंडिया ओके अब वो क्वेश्चन जो मैंने आपको बताया था वाई इंडियंस इन गल्फ आर फॉलोइंग ये कम क्यों हो रहे हैं इसके बहुत सारे रीजन्स हैं बिकॉज ऑफ स्टेप्स दैट द गल्फ हैज टेकन दे आर ऑल्सो रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इंडियंस फॉलोइंग इन गल्फ रीजन नंबर वन स्लगिश ऑयल प्राइसिस फ्रॉम गल्फ तो ऑयल प्राइसिस जो गल्फ के थे सिंस टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व स्पेसिफिकली दे हैव बीन ऑन अ डाउन फॉल दे यूज टू बी वन ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी डॉलर्स पर बैरल नाउ दे आर समवेयर अराउंड वन हंड्रेड वो भी अभी हुआ है अदरवाइज इट वॉज थक अराउंड सेवेंटी एट्टी डॉलर्स पर बैरल सो स्लगिश ऑयल प्राइसिस गोइंग आउट फ्रॉम द गल्फ एंड एज यू नो द गल्फ रीजन इज हैवीली डिपेंडेंट ऑन ऑयल फॉर देर इकोनॉमी तो अगर ऑयल की डिमांड बढ़ भी रही है बट द प्राइस आर नॉट इंक्रीजिंग वॉट हैपन्स द अमाउंट ऑफ अर्निंग्स दैट दे हैव द रेवेन्यू द प्रॉफिट्स दैट दे हैव फ्रॉम ऑयल गोज डाउन ऑटोमेटिकली द नंबर ऑफ पीपल दैट दे आर एम्प्लॉइंग ऑल्सो इधर रिमेन स्टैगनेंट और गोज डाउन जिसकी वजह से इंडियंस जिनकी रिक्वायरमेंट होती है गल्फ में वो कम हो रही है इट हैज बिन गोइंग डाउन नंबर टू नेशनलाइजेशन पॉलिसीज इन गल्फ बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है पीपल इन द गल्फ एट द हेल्म द एम्पायर दे हैव स्टार्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट देयर ओन पीपल ऑल्सो नीड जॉब्स देयर ओन पीपल आर ऑल्सो रेडी टू डू बेसिक ब्लू कॉलर्ड वर्क दे नीड नॉट रिटाय कंप्लीटली ऑन इंडियन ब्लू कॉलर्ड वर्कर्स एंड देयर फोर दे चेंजिंग देयर पॉलिसीज सो दैट दे कैन गिव प्रेफरेंस टू देयर ओन पीपल सो दैट दे कैन provide more employment to their own people isko hum bol rahe hain nationalization policy in the gulf because of this the number of people who can go out now from india to the gulf is going down the demand is down because the region is preferring to give employment to their own people first and that is very logical uh, very obvious as well i don't think there's nothing anything wrong about it number 3 strict labor laws in the gulf this flows from nationalization policies in order to fulfill this policy they have made their labor laws more strict jaise wo apne labor laws ko zyada strict kar rahe hain automatically the number of people who can go out from india work in the U- uae or the gulf region is also going down another example of how nationalization policy is being implemented higher work permit renewal fees so if you're working in the uae or working in the gulf your work permit uh, expires and now you have to renew it you have to pay let's say 10 times of what you had to pay before automatically what will you think aap socho gear wapas india mein aake kaam kar lete now it's become too expensive to stay here to work here to earn here and to send back money back to my family in india bahut mushkil ho gaya hai it's better that i work from home only higher taxes is equal to less disposable income they have increased the taxes also that are applicable to indians working in these nations to pehle unke pe tax lagta tha 30% now they have to pay 50% tax automatically their disposable income reduces the amount of money that they can save and send back to india also reduces 
लेस एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर माइग्रेंट्स इन लोगों के लिए एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज ही कम हो गई हैं बिकॉज ऑफ द पॉलिसी दैट द गल्फ इज़ फॉलोइंग बिकॉज ऑफ लेस डिमांड बिकॉज ऑफ ऑयल प्राइस गोइंग डाउन एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज द पीपल हु बिलोंग टू दीज कंट्रीज आर रेडी टू नाउ वर्क इन एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर द वर्क जो कि पहले इंडियंस करते थे जैसे कि छोटे काम हो गए गाड़ी चलाना किसी के घर पे एज अ मेड काम करना स्टोर्स uh, में एज अ सेल्स पर्सन काम करना ऑल दीज जॉब्स वर लिमिटेड टू इंडियंस वर्किंग देयर एज ब्लू कॉलर्ड वर्कर्स बट नाउ पीपल लिविंग देयर पीपल हु आर सिटीजन ऑफ दीज कंट्रीज आर ऑल्सो रेडी बिकॉज देर आर लेस एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज अदरवाइज ऑटोमेटिकली द एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर इंडियन माइग्रेंट्स हैज गॉन डाउन इंडिया में रेमिटेंस आता कहाँ से है दिस चार्ट विल प्रूव that the remittances coming to india are majorly now coming from united states 23.4% again united kingdom another developed country 6.8% singapore another developed industrialized nation 5.7% to aap dekh sakte ho majority of our remittances are now coming from these developed nations advanced nations and the share of uae saudi arabia Oman, Qatar, this has been going down. Now there is a problem here in this chart because ये बोलता है others 31.6 percent, which is even higher than United States. आप सोच रहे होंगे what is it? You are saying that US gives us maximum remittances 23.4 percent, but there is a category others which is giving us 31 percent. This basically comprises of African nations. क्योंकि Africa में बहुत सारे nations हैं तो सबके नाम ना लिख के उन्होंने मिक्स करके डाल दिया अदर्स में सो वी आर ऑल्सो रिसीविंग अ लॉट ऑफ मनी फ्रॉम एफ्रीकन नेशंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेमिटेंसेस दैट इज ऑल्सो एन इम्प्रूवमेंट बोलेंगे या चेंज बोलेंगे वी कैन कॉल इट एनीथिंग बट लॉट ऑफ इंडियंस आर नाउ मूविंग इनटू अफ्रीका फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज एज वेल ओके वट आर द टॉप फाइव रेसिपियंस ऑफ रेमिटेंसिस वर्ल्ड वाइड इंडिया हैज बीन फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड नाउ वी हैव हिट द स्वीट नंबर ऑफ वन Uh, one lakh US dollars, millions in millions, hundred billion बोले या फिर one lakh million बोले एक ही बात है. Mexico is way down at sixty thousand, China at fifty one thousand, then Philippines and then Egypt. So देख सकते हैं कि India is the highest recipient of remittances by a long, by a big margin, and the reasons we have understood. Okay. एडवांटेज क्या आप सोच रहे हो इतनी देर से रेमिटेंस की बात कर रहे हैं वॉट इज़ द एडवांटेज ऑफ रिसीविंग ऑल दिस मनी फ्रॉम अब्रॉड वेल देर आर लॉट ऑफ एडवांटेजेस नंबर वन फॉरेक्स रिजर्व्स जो कि इंडिया में आते हैं दे स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग वट एवर फॉरेक्स रिजर्व यू यू रिसीव इन इंडिया दैट बाउंटी ऑफ फॉरेक्स रिजर्व इंक्रीज वाई बिकॉज दीज रेमिटेंसिस कम इन यू एस डॉलर एंड दे आर कन्वर्टेड टू आई एन आर तो जब ये यू एस डॉलर में आते हैं दे कम टू आर बी आई RBI converts this US dollar into INR. Automatically, RBI now has this reserve of US dollar. All of that dollar came into India, and it becomes a part of forex reserves. So automatically, our capability of holding more more forex reserves automatically goes up. Higher investment in Indian stock market, FPI, FTI, and retail. So, tabi remittance hai. Not all of it is saved. Not all of it is consumed. A big part of it is also invested. आपने convert किया U S dollar to I N R. Now you are investing that money into Indian stock market, whether through F P I, F T I, or as a retail investor. Automatically, more money into Indian stock market, the depth of Indian stock market also increases. It grows even further. पैसा तो चाहिए ना stock market को, otherwise trade क्या करोगे? Okay. So all these remittances also strengthen the Indian stock market. Lifeline during economic crisis in India, it is called as counter cyclical role played by remittances. So what happens? Let's say India is facing high inflation, but US at the same time is doing well. Uh, the growth numbers are high, the employment numbers are high. So all these people, Indians working in the US, will start sending this money to India. वो पैसा remit करेंगे India को. Okay, India is facing high, let's say high unemployment. or low growth okay all this money will come to india and it will push up employment it will push up growth because for 
increasing employment numbers for increasing gro growth ultimately you need more demand you need more people spending more money these people working in the us are sending this money to their indian families relatives friends and these are consuming saving investing automatically the lifeline during economic crisis is acted upon by remittances it acts as a counter cyclical plays a counter cyclical role by reducing the impact of unemployment and degrowth and pushing up growth in india i hope it is clear 50% of remittances sent are sent to households in rural india so automatically it helps in creating demand in rural area which you must be aware is the core of demand in india more savings in india because these people families friends relatives whoever receives remittances they don't only invest this money they also save a lot of this money and higher savings automatically means a better banking system because they get cheap and easy deposits in terms of these savings made by indians standard of living of these dependent indians also rises automatically normal si baat hai main apne parents ko jo india mein rehte hain unko uh, har mahine if i'm spending sending them 5000 dollars they have a lot of money in their hands they can take care of themselves better they can buy good medicines they can go to good doctors they can have preventive health care they can have a decent standard of living they can drink good water they can have good meals so standard of living of these dependent indians automatically rises 60% of their income comes through remittances this number all automatically tells us the importance of remittances and the advantages that indian indians living abroad remitting to india uske hame kya kya fayde milte hain last point advantage of remittances in bop bahut important question hai economic perspective se can be asked in the examination from you whether preparing for rbi whether preparing for upsc fayde kya hai remittances ke india ke liye bop mein kya fayde hote hain number 1 us dollar jab bhi in inr mein exchange hota hai it means supply of us dollar is going down going up at the same time demand for inr is going up at the same time तो क्या होगा इंडियन रुपी विल बिकम मोर स्ट्रॉन्ग पहले अस्सी रुपए था अभी वो सत्तर रुपए हो गया क्यों हो गया बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ यूएस डॉलर इज बीइंग एक्सचेंज फॉर आईएनआर सप्लाई ऑफ यूएस डॉलर इज इंक्रीजिंग इन इंडिया एट द सेम टाइम डिमांड ऑफ यू आईएनआर इज इंक्रीजिंग इंडियन रुपी विल स्ट्रेंगदन इंडियन रुपी अच्छे स्वीट स्पॉट पर आके बैठेगा जहाँ पर हमारे एक्सपोर्टर्स इम्पोर्टर्स किसी को भी लॉस ना हो बहुत ज़्यादा हैवी ना हो उनके लिए एक्सचेंज करना आईएनआर को यूएस डॉलर में सो बाय बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ यूएस डॉलर कम्स टू इंडिया ऑटोमेटिकली देर इज मोर सप्लाई ऑफ यूएस डॉलर एंड मोर डिमांड फॉर आईएनआर बिकॉज ऑफ कन्वर्जन रिक्वायरमेंट इसकी वजह से आईएनआर स्ट्रांग बनता है करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट जो है हमारा वो कम होता है क्यों बिकॉज यू डॉलर इज रिसीव्ड बाई आर वो अपने फॉरेक्स रिजर्व में रखता है और उस फॉरेक्स रिजर्व जो भी वो फॉरेक्स रिजर्व में रखता है दैट फॉर्म्स अ पार्ट ऑफ करेंट अकाउंट of indian government to so indian government ka current account jo hai wo improve hota hai because it is an income that is being received it is an earning that is being received by indian government through the people working abroad 15 to 20% of forex reserves comes from remittances aur iski wajah se hamara current account deficit bhi kam hota hai thirdly remittances are very stable compared to fpi and fdi uski wajah se kya hota hai even in kind in times of instability volatility we are able to maintain a more stable value of rupee because ye remittance to aayega hi aayega it might go up from 89 to 94 might go down from 89 to 79 84 85 but bahut zyada vary nahi karega because these are people who have been living abroad earning abroad sending money back to india jab tak wo wahan reh rahe hain kama rahe hain tab tak wo bhejte rahenge paisa so these remittances are very stable to bahut acha ek foreign exchange earning hota hai india ke liye so these are the advantages of remittances in bop balance of payment this was all about this session i hope it was useful i hope you have now learned something new about remittances how it is helpful for india uh, why does it come to india at all and what lies behind india hitting these sweet number of 100 billion dollars of remittances coming in one single year the highest for any country in the entire world 
If you like the video, do not forget to press that like button. Subscribe to my channel to receive more updates. If you're preparing for UPSC specifically, you can go to my other channel, UPSC by Anu Chindal. If you're preparing for RBS, EBI or NABARD, regulatory body examinations, you can go to my older channel, Anu Chindal. That is the name of the older channel. So, you can see and see a lot of videos that I've been creating, a lot of content that I've been creating for various different exams for a lot of students and I'm sure that you loved the video and loved learning something new. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.